Daily Ag Report. And the word is sustainability even in agriculture. Yeah, it's something they really are stressing, but really I've been telling the story a lot. That's why in an effort to know what their carbon footprint is, the dairy industry funded a study of 500 dairy farms and five, uh, 50 dairy processors nationwide. Now, Kimberly Kloss, whose farm was included in the study, said the report looked at the entire dairy process from raising the feed for the cows to transporting the end product to the grocery store. So basically what this study has done is it's setting the record straight and it's giving us scientific-based answer to what our carbon footprint is for fluid milk and dairy in the U.S. And that's exactly what we needed in order to be able to have a place at the table to decide where we were going as an industry for our future. I asked Klaus why it was important for the dairy industry to do such a study. Because the consumers are, are demanding this information and are, so are the retailers. They're concerned about that. We know on our dairy farms we've been sustainable for generations. We, because it, for us it just makes economic sense to be sustainable. Whether it's recycling our water, using byproducts as part of our cow rations. Across the board we're doing sustainable practices on our dairies. But the problem is, is we haven't always told the consumer about this, and so they don't understand what we're actually doing on our dairies. So this actually is allowing them to take a, a bigger look at our industry and what we're doing on our dairies, and also it tells them just exactly how sustainable we are. And what did we actually learn from this study about dairies' carbon footprint? Actually, it is only 2% which is great. I mean, when you think of what that means for our industry, that we're only at 2% and that there is things we're going to be able to do in the future to even reduce that even more, that is great news for the dairy industry and also for consumers because that's going to make them look at us as dairy producers and think, wow, these people are really stepping up. They're doing sustainable practices on their farms. I want to buy their products. And Klaus concluded by saying that for dairy, sustainability makes sense, economic sense. I think if it makes economic sense for that dairy producer, they're absolutely going to be doing those things on their farms. And many of the things that are sustainable practices all make economic sense. So it goes hand in hand for dairy producers. As kind of a follow-up to this story, tomorrow we're going to visit the Natsuki farm. They got one of five uh, national conservation loans that help them improve their carbon footprint and sustainability. So we'll tell you that story tomorrow at noon.